Hi there, Dr. Keith here talking about inflammations. And the last one, number nine, is stealth pathogens. Now, 30, 40 years ago, when I was first pioneering in this field, we used to call them smoldering viruses. And I think that's a great name because this smoldering term gives you the idea of heat, you know, low grade heat, slow burning, and that's exactly what inflammation does. But the point is then it's not all viruses, you know, bacteria can do this, uh, parasites, protozoa, uh, different, you know, different organisms, different pathogens can cause this smoldering effect. Or in fact, we, today we tend to call them stealth pathogens because they're creepy, they sneak along under the radar. The body has a lot of difficulty locating the enemy and actually extricating them. And this, this kind of chronic low-grade fight going on between the two, that is the very definition of chronic inflammation. And we don't want it. So we've got viruses, the herpes family, for example, is they're really bad news that's sort of lingering under the radar, very difficult to extricate yourself. Epstein-Barr or EBV is another one, uh, you know, a lingering virus, a smoldering virus, if you like. There are bacteria that can do this. Uh, Chlamydia trachomatis, for example, it's a kind of STD, you know, a sexually transmitted disease. But it's mischievous as hell. Once it gets into your body, it starts working on your heart and your blood vessels. It can be very damaging and causing chronic low-grade problems. Then there are protozoa like, uh, you know, Cryptosporidia, uh, Giardiasis and things like that. These are, again, they're very difficult to shake off. Giardia is an intestinal infection and you might only be aware of feeling crappy and, you know, infrequent diarrhea, but it seems to be a problem. Uh, this is what we mean by the lingering inflammation. Then, of course, uh, out and out parasites, you know, I mean, an example would be worms. There's pinworms, hookworms, threadworms, uh, tapeworms, and people often are harboring these parasites, really, without realizing it. Uh, and and it, ca it causes con constant low-grade infections and low-grade grumbling trouble. Now, if you've got a stealth pathogen or maybe more than one going, that's going to result in feeling not so good. You know, that sort of fatigued, grey, rather dull, uh, not so very bouncy, sometimes achy, yucky feeling. And what happens is the person often comes to feel that that's me. You know, that's what I'm like. I'm just that kind of person. I'm not full of life like the next guy. Or that life is like that. You know, it's not me, but life is like that. It grinds you down. Every day is an effort. Well, these can be the symptoms of a low-grade pathogen infection, a stealth pathogen, if you like. And often the person is astonished when somebody takes the trouble to find it, eliminates it, woo, they bounce up and they feel great again, life becomes energetic, they find joy, they find meaning, they find bounce. This is exactly what I want for you all in the third age, third age wisdom. We've got to get rid of stealth pathogens as well as all the other, you know, as much as we can to get rid of the other sources of inflammation too. Anyway, I thought you'd find this group quite interesting. And remember the term smoldering virus because it's like a slowly burning ember of fire. You know, you can put on a, a log of wood on a fire that hardly seems alive. But if you come back next day, the wood has kind of withered away to nothing. It really is a fire but you just didn't see the blaze and the smoke because it was much more subtle than that. Anyway, that's what we mean by stealth pathogens. They're very common. Chances are you've got one, and if you have, you need to take a look at that, and you've got to beat it. Okay, take care. Thank you.